what kind of uh, on the analytics side, on the on the kind of end user side, um, what kind of use cases are they primarily, you know, BI workloads or, or you know, you're starting to see, you know, we, we hear a lot of folks these days uh, experimenting with uh, with Gen AI and, and LLMs on, on that kind of same data once you have this kind of a platform. Um, so what are you what are you seeing in the organization who's taking advantage of it? You know, where is that going also? So I, I think it comes as no su surprise that the bulk of uh, workloads that we see at the moment are quasi traditional BI. So we're, we're moving away from old tooling. We've got a whole bunch of Power BI out there. And that would probably be in the traditional pyramid. That would be the bulk. And I'm sure that's no surprise to anybody. And I'm sure if you go to most organizations that that's the case. But what uh, Navneet has said is he wants us to be leading lights in AI, LLMs, the whole box and dice of, of AI. So if you, if you take AI as machine learning, AI, and LLMs, and we're doing a whole bunch of work in that area. For example, we've built our own um, little, uh, uh, I guess you'd call it generative AI type product that allows people to type natural English questions uh, against Dremio and will return result sets to them per their question. It'll also chart it. We've got that. We've got people now starting to get into rudimentary, what I would call business science. And that's really where you sit a data scientist with the business and start to come up with algos. So to, to models that will predict who is the best salesperson to take on this type of account. When is this vessel likely to arrive? How do we move things around? And, and, and in fact, um, you know, we've got a digital twin of a number of our ports now as well that help optimize how the ports work. So things are fast. It's kind of like, I don't know if you follow the Tour de France, but I think if you imagine going up the Alpe d'Huez, which is a pretty steep mountain, how you feel at the top, if only you were allowed to turn around and go down at high speed instead of keep going, which of course the poor Tour de France guys do. But it now feels like we're not at the top of the mountain, but we can at least see the top and we can imagine how great it's going to be when we come down the other side. So we're, we're getting to that stage now. We're starting to see those exciting use cases crop up um, in the field of, uh, of uh, AI modeling and large language modeling. So it's, yeah, it's an exciting place to be in. Yeah. 